What is the relative molecular mass? This is one of those terms which we have in the concept of relative masses. And what relative mass, what relative molecular mass is, is a way of comparing the ratio of mass between an average molecule and one twelfth of an atom of carbon twelve, which I explained in a previous video that it's represented by the symbol U, which is the, the, the atomic mass unit. And this symbol U is sometimes referred to as the Dalton also with the symbol DA. And you may have remembered from my video about models of the atom that John Dalton, John Dalton, oh, John Dalton created the model of the atom which it created a theory of how the, the, the atom may be and his theory involved atoms being solid indivisible particles similar to how the Greeks proposed it but his model theorized that different elements are made up of different types of these indivisible particles but anyway relative molecular mass I'll leave this one there relative molecular mass relative molecular mass is usually represented by the symbol MR relative molecular mass you can imagine that when I look at it that's what I imagine now the definition of relative molecular mass in well OTR is the weighted hold on I'm trying to change color here the weighted mean mass this may sound similar to relative atomic mass and it is very similar the weighted mean mass of a molecule a molecule not a molecule a molecule the weighted mean mass of a molecule relative to one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon 12 and obviously as I said in another video a different video uh, this is this this these two things are the same now why have I drawn this molecule here and why are these hydrogens different colors they're all hydrogens but they're different colors well, not all of them different ones. Uh, three green, one yellow. Now, the reason why we say weighted mean mass and not just the mass, like we said in the relative isotopic mass, is because imagine if we picture a molecule. This molecule here is methane. It's a simple hydrocarbon, a simple alkane. And this molecule might contain different isotopes of the elements which it's made up of for example this carbon here could be carbon 12 it could be carbon 13 it could be carbon 14 it could be different isotopes of carbon and this hydrogen here this could be carbon hydrogen it could be hydrogen 1 this hydrogen here, it could be hydrogen 1, hydrogen 1, and this one could be hydrogen 2. Hydrogen 2. And because of this, because isotopes have the same chemical properties, they can, they can, 
they are able to they are able to bond to the same types of molecules i mean same types of 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 species let's call them species as in an atom or group of atoms but i'll call it species which which means the same thing bond to the same type of species as it's able to bond to the same types of species as other isotopes oops you can't see that uh, i can barely see that as other isotopes because it's able to bond to similar types of species as other isotopes any given molecule could t contain a range of different isotopes of a particular of a particular element like this one it's got hydrogen 1 and hydrogen 2 just as a note hydrogen 2 is often referred to as being deuterium deuterium and deuterium is a f isotope of hydrogen which has a neutron in it this two is from the extra neutron so this would be the d and this deuterium is often sometimes water molecules could contain as i said before isotopes could could bond, can form bonds of species that other different isotopes can form bonds with but deuterium is much more rare than regular hydrogen but the, when deuterium replaces regular hydrogen in a water molecule that water is molecule is often referred to as heavy water heavy water let me write that down heavy heavy uh, uh, let me write that down in white heavy water now because of this we assume that when we're doing these sort of calculations we assume that the the relative abundances or the percentage abundancies of the different isotopes present are the same as that used to calculate the relative atomic masses provided on the periodic table and what this means is when we're calculating relative molecular masses we can use the relative atomic masses which are given on the periodic table we can add those in place of the different atoms to calculate the relative molecular mass and in order to make this clearer i will make a video with a worked example of calculating the relative molecular mass but yeah so in summary relative molecular mass what's the definition the relative molecular mass is the weighted mean mass of a a molecule and part two relative to the mass of one twelve of let's try another let's do another color of an atom of carbon twelve and I'm just doing these different colors to emphasize that if we were to ask to give this definition which rarely occurs we usually in like exams and stuff like that we usually just get the definition asked to, to provide the definitions for relative isotopic masses and relative atomic masses usually relative molecular masses and relative formula masses they're more rare so to speak but yeah if, if this was a question probably these would be the three different marks these three different colors so yeah i hope you gain something from this video and I will be making a work example for calculating the relative molecular mass because you will probably much more, more likely than getting a definition for this you'll probably be asked to calculate a relative molecular mass um hope that's been helpful bye